Welcome to a new Star Wars Old Republic video where today we are talking about Uprisings, which is the new group content we're getting with Knights of the Eternal Throne. And since a lot of people have been asking for new flashpoints and operations and stuff, uh, these up this Uprisings has to be very very good in order to keep the PvE players engaged and subscribe to the game. So hopefully Bioware is going to deliver on that for the sake of those PvEers who are really wanting new operations and stuff. Uh, but we do have some information about what Uprisings are, what they're going to entail, so that's what I'm going through in this video. I hope you guys enjoy. So basically the first thing to note is Uprisings will be available in three difficulty modes and it will have up to three bosses. There are hidden achievements and stuff in there so it's going to entail some of that. Now right now the difficulties are solo, tactical and hard mode and these are things that we're definitely familiar with especially when it comes to flashpoints. But this may change to story, veteran and master mode and those are the three new modes that we're getting just generally in the game. Uh, when you're playing through Knights of the Eternal Throne and probably when you're also going to be playing through Knights of the Fallen Empire if you want to replay it on some characters or something. You're going to be able to choose whether you want to play in story, veteran, or master mode. Obviously, veteran and master mode are going to be a lot more advanced, probably have more mods or, sorry, mobs or better bosses with different gameplay mechanics and stuff. And so you're probably going to be able to play uprisings in those three modes as well. Another thing that they're trying to do to make this more engaging is unlike heroics and flashpoints where it's just very very repetitive and a lot of people were just so disgruntled with star fortress because that was supposed to be new and exciting but it just got really repetitive and boring and a lot of people don't do it anymore so in order to make each uprising unique what they're going to do is um, they're going to have different elements so each uprising is going to be different it's going to engage you in a different way and hopefully that's going to be enough to make it just fun to replay that over and over again and it's good, uh, the uprisings are going to be incorporated into the new galactic command system. So the galactic command system is basically rewarding you for replaying this type of content by giving you galactic command trophies and points and stuff that you can use towards increasing your rank. And increasing your rank will mean getting some rewards, but also being able to have that prestige and say, hey, I've reached a certain level or something. Uh, so they are wanting, to, wanting you to repeat this stuff, so they're trying to make it a little bit more engaging. Now they said most of the areas are copied from the live game and slightly modified for the Knights of the Eternal Throne setting. Um, so this allows the devs to create a lot of uprisings. For example, you will have the Ord Mantell uprising, which is basically just a copy of Ord Mantell but made for a different setting. So we'll have some elements to, you know, make sure that it fits in with the Knights of the Eternal Throne story. There's going to be probably damage done. Keep in mind, a lot of planets like Droman Kass and Coruscant were invaded by the Zakul, or the Eternal Empire of Zakul, meaning there's probably going to be a lot more damage done to it and stuff like that. So it's going to be pretty cool to explore these uh, different maps and see how they've decided to kind of change it around because obviously we're not just going to be exploring through these planets which we've already gone through and played a whole bunch of quests on with our tunes when we were leveling, the, leveling them up. And so it's going to be interesting to see how they've decided to change it and perhaps make it more engaging for players when they're doing their uprisings. Now I forgot to mention actually at the start of this video I should have but what you're seeing in the background of this video are images and these are images of uprisings and so these are various planets and stuff and I've also looked through the uh, missions that are involved with uprisings and a lot of it involves things like uh, actually getting animals to fight on your side and summoning core slugs and sand demons and stuff so that's pretty cool it is definitely pointing towards having a ton of new gameplay mechanics associated with them the bosses right now all have basic attacks that's what's been data mined from the PTS and that's obviously going to change with bosses are probably going to have some gameplay mechanics associated with it there are going to be four uh, three to four boss encounters kind of like a flashpoint but hopefully for those players that actually want to challenge they'll make the mechanics actually pretty difficult now these are right now the five uprisings available I'll quickly read out the summaries for you the first uprising is fire frost now this is going to take place on Hoth and what it is is the infamous white mob pirates are repurposing imperial and republic artillery to raid outer rim territories under the leadership of fearsome hook named Droob. I don't know what that is. They have taken control of a lava works factory on Hoth to construct chilling war machines. If left unchecked, this group will expand into Alliance territory, secure the Outer Rim territories by rounding up a team and shutting down White Maw operations. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and read through every summary for all of these. It's probably going to be really boring for you guys. I'll leave a link in the description to the post on Reddit so you guys can go ahead and check it out for yourselves. But the point is, that's kind of what it is. And, um... I don't want to spoil the story for you guys, but what it is, is these are uprisings to your alliance. So obviously you're a part of the alliance, and the alliance is very powerful. And it is going to be linked to the Knights of the Eternal Throne story, and what actually happens, how that concludes and stuff. But I'm not going to put any, uh, uh, I'm not going to put in any story spoilers. However, the point is, 
these are people that are uprising against you and so you're basically going there to quell that opposition uh, with the help of your alliance and stuff. The other ones are Dun and Dusted, which is on Tatooine, Inferno, which is on Ord Mantel, Crimson Fang, which is Point no Port Nowhere, and Fractured, which is Imperial Station. Another quick thing to note is uh, these five uprisings will definitely be available with 5.0, so when Kotet hits, you'll be able to try these out, and you will be able to queue for them via Group Finder. So it's going to work very similar to Flashpoints. Now that's about all the information we have on uprisings right now, but the thing that I can tell you is um, to make it a little bit you know worthwhile to do, once again, this is being incorporated into the new things, right? It's going to be incorporated into the Kotet story with how these people are uprising against your alliance and you obviously want to make your alliance strong. It's probably going to incorporate something to do with companion influences and, and you know, depending on which companion you take to do these or something like that, it, when it's in the story mode and then obviously with the group mode, you're going to be in a group of four people. Uh, it's also being incorporated into the Galactic Command whole system as I mentioned and it's probably going to be worth a lot more points because Bioware is going to want people to actually get up and start doing this stuff. But um, but yeah, that is the new group content. Now unfortunately, I, it probably would have been better for them to just take the time out to do operations and stuff because I know that's what a lot of the community wanted. But hopefully these uprisings will live up to, the, to their name and live up to the expectations of the PvE players. Although I kind of doubt it, but you know, time will tell. And when this stuff is actually released, we'll see how much fun it is. I personally haven't done Star Fortress yet. Just a lot of people have been saying it's too boring and it's too repetitive. And you know, they're saying just do flashpoints if you want to level up or something. There's no need to do Star Fortress or anything and when you're already max level there just is no reason to do it so I'm really hoping that these uprisings incorporate a really unique story element to it or something that makes it worthwhile and actually makes you want to just repeat it over and over again I have heard things like the boss encounters are going to change so each time you do it you won't be versing the same boss uh, and the story element is going to change based upon what you do and stuff like that and uh, and you know as long as they have a good story that makes it worthwhile to do these uprisings if it's just the same repetitive stuff over and over again like just doing the same flashpoint over and over again then that's going to be way too boring for anyone to want to repeat but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it informative. Normally my videos will go on for like 11 or 12 minutes, but I'll keep this one rather short because there just isn't much more information to go over. As I mentioned, that's all the information. I uh, will see you in the next one.